My name is Jesse Wilson. I'm from Kalkaroon, Man Isa, and I'm a didgeridoo maker. Ten years of mining, sort of got sick of it, and I was thinking there's got to be some, 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 something that I can do that I want to, you know, that I enjoy, really enjoy. And um, one of my brothers, brother boys from at Man Isa, he, um, he, he showed me how to make a didgeridoo one time, and I really enjoyed it and liked it. So I made one with him, and then that was it. I sort of quit my job in mining and then went for it. The European settlers, when they come over to um, First Nation land, that the didgeridoo, because when they heard the didgeridoo, they, it was the sound of the didgeridoo, 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 and that's, that's how they got the name, they called it didgeridoo, but we got our own the Aboriginal name, which is Yiraki. It's not just instrument, it's got, it's got um, meanings to it, it's got storylines, the art that's on it, um, used in ceremonies, the sound of it can also heal people. So I didn't get to learn about my culture at all until, until I started this business, really, and I want to teach youth as well because I didn't get taught as a young. You know, everyone was give, you know, sending him money and all this funding for him to go to Disneyland and I thought, you know what, I, I don't think he, he needs something that means something to him of who he is. I thought to make him a didgeridoo or a yadaki with his totems on it, which represents him and who he is. Thanks for the big I, I could feel his energy through that video, you know, um, spiritual way. There's a lot of youth that are, that, are, that are ashamed of who they are when they shouldn't be, you know, because of other, the bullying, that sort of stuff. Perfect example. So be proud and be loud with it.